343 just revealed some crucial information when it comes to the future of Firefight challenges and the new networking system when it comes to the game. First, let's go into the feedback 343 has seen and recognized and is looking to change when it comes to Firefight in Halo Infinite. The first thing they talked about was match XP and specifically heroic earnings when it comes to playing Firefight as many people have suggested to be able to earn more XP when playing higher difficulty modes as it's a way to reward people for challenging themselves within the game. And 343 stated that they are looking into improving the XP rates when it comes to these higher difficulty modes. Likely we'll see something come in with the update of Legendary Firefight coming into Halo Infinite, which we'll touch on later in this video. If you guys like these informative videos, make sure you tap like. It really does help out the video and channel a lot. And if you're part of that 80 some odd percent of people who are watching this channel who are not subscribed and want to know everything going on with Halo, well, you know what to do then. Though 343 did state that they don't want to give players like the obvious choice to play when it comes to earning XP rates within the game, because you have to think the general public at large, right? You have the normal, you'll have heroic, and eventually you'll have legendary. And yes, the hard difficulties will provide more XP, so like the more optimal way to play, but for generally, they want to make sure that the hardcore grinders out there aren't exceeding way past everybody else because they're the high skilled players and they deserve to be at max rank faster than someone who just likes to play on the weekends or just likes to play normal, you know? Which I totally get that. You don't want to like force people down a certain way to go like, well, you earn so much more play legendary than you do on normal that like playing normal would be a waste of time. So. I get where they're coming from on that. A big point of feedback has been the challenge system as it's been pretty difficult for them to track challenges when it comes to Firefight. And I can understand that as the whole challenge system was designed around PVP and not PVE elements. Though 343 did state that they are investigating issues when it comes to making some challenges track or having some specific firefight challenges. Though they did say that there are some technical limitations when it comes to doing that. And also I'm sure balancing when it comes to, you know, killing five elites or something like that within a challenge mode. This is that difficulty of doing the whole challenge system. They'll give you bonus XP to progress through the battle pass. 343 kind of just wrote themselves into a bit of a corner here. Like how do you get it? So then people who want to play only firefight can it still unlock their challenges and get their weekly unlocks and not be forced into the PvP environment. And like I touched on earlier in the video that they are looking into it right now, but no word at the moment. Of course, once we get some information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Also, the post-game carnage report not showcasing kills. I want to see how much damage I put, not the actual damage number. I want to see how many elites, grunts, brutes, things like that that I destroyed within Firefight like we could previously. And that update is planned to come with Firefight to have a much more detailed stats to be able to showcase at least total kills. 343 did say that there was a little bit of difficulty when it comes to tracking player kills compared to AI kills and that's why it's not in there at the moment but just to get the game mode out for people to play it is what it is right now but it will be changing soon. They also did address the issue when it comes to driver assists when it comes to playing Halo Infinite's Firefight. If you're the one driving the Warhog you get a ton of assists but not that much in points or XP so then you really kind of just took a hit for the team so then they can win because utilizing vehicles especially driving like in a warhog on like the map valhalla remake that that's crucial for your team's success to be able to provide damage and, and be able to effectively destroy the enemy players but at the end of the match you go wow i earned like a, no xp because technically you didn't get any kills meaning you don't really deserve to earn xp according to the system 343 stated that they are working on this at the moment. No fix at the moment right now that's going to be addressed. But of course, once we get information about it, I'll share with you guys in the channel. Kind of repeated right there. Talking about vehicles, though, we also have AI vehicles being brought up within this whole thing. As you might have noticed while playing Firefight, no AI vehicles are on the map. There are vehicles that spawn on these maps that you can utilize, like I was playing around with a Banshee and just going crazy because, well, you know, I can. There's no counter to me really happening from the AI. And 343 confirmed that you can have AI spawns in Forge. So if you want to make a custom game mode version of Firefight, put it in the custom game browser for people to play, that that can be done. But 343 deliberately chose to stay away from vehicular combat when it comes to AI, especially within the matchmaking experiences, as it was very difficult to balance. And the way they explained it, well, I think this is the clearest way they could explain it, where if an AI spawns into the map with a vehicle, right, like a Wraith or a Ghost or something like that, even if a Brute's driving it, 343 kind of considers that as basically giving the players another vehicle. Because it can be pretty easy to take out just the drivers and not the vehicle themselves. And with the repair field now in the game, you can repair your vehicles. And so they actually get to a point where you have too many vehicles on the map and actually fighting for kills. 
343 actually discussed that they were testing out firefight with vehicles and they did find that oftentimes people were fighting for kills because there were just too many vehicles on the map which I totally understand that. There are also technical limitations at play when it comes to Halo Infinite's version of Firefight. I know we had that in Warzone Firefight with AI vehicles, but again, that also was pretty much ported over from the Warzone experience with those vehicles brought over into Firefight. I still would really like to see vehicular combat against AI in some kind of way. Maybe if that vehicle loses their driver, then it will go down to the destruction mode and blow up if that's something you can code in. It'd be much more dynamic to have more than just infantry focused gameplay, but be able to use some vehicles on some of the maps is also very important when it comes to the freshness of gameplay from game to game. I do feel like there is still room for improvement, especially when it comes to AI vehicles within Halo Infinite's Firefight. Again, the mode just launched, and so with time and feedback given to 343, I'm sure we'll find something in there that we can utilize. 343 also touches on the House of Reckoning, the new map brought in with Firefight. I know we've seen the community talk about this a lot, and actually the person who was the lead of the Firefight experience said that when they were playing the campaign of Halo Infinite, they're like, wow, this would be a really great firefight map. I think a lot of people had that same experience. But they also kind of just touch on how it wasn't just a simple one-to-one -one copy pasta over to make it sort of work for firefight because they said they had to redo a lot of the audio, redo a lot of the collision, as well as access areas to make it so that you can focus people into areas, especially with the collision that was brought up, saying that within the campaign, there were kind of some spots where like maybe you weren't supposed to really bother with a whole lot because it was out of the way you weren't really intended to play in that area when it comes to making it into a firefight map the entire map is meant to be utilized at some point so you gotta make sure that there are less bugs the collision works again the audio works and like there's all these little details that get involved when it comes to the process of making maps into firefight apparently there's a bug with the new map as well but it allows for an extra feature to be done where you can actually have a nav mesh now when it comes to the House of Reckoning specifically. So we could see Forgers take advantage of the situation and really make some really cool stuff. I'm talking about more cool stuff with the House of Reckoning, apparently there's a second floor that's completely available for you to play around with. And they are looking to open that area up as well. They make this level more versatile for people to forge around in and do whatever, the, you know, the crazy stuff that Forgers do. Talking about Forgers, they actually talked about skulls coming in to forge as well, being available for people to utilize and basically you can help utilize those skulls to make unique game modes as well this is something that's really gonna be great for the forge community and just kind of wait around and see what they can create with it i mean just think of all the skulls that are within halo infinite and what you could do with a multiplayer setting of that i'm just saying let them cook with the firefly update they also talked about the new networking model that came with it that we covered previously on the channel here now they didn't go into any specifics of what they found with the networking but you can kind of tell from the general community experience that it's been better it plays really well and the community who's been playing it at the moment has been super happy about it they also did mention that the reason why they chose squad battles because obviously more players more dynamic things happening on the map and the reason why they didn't really change anything besides like score limit and stuff like that is that they want to have like apples to apples comparison when it comes to networking the squad battles regular networking compared to squad battles with the new networking what exactly is different between how our players experience this and what the data is looking like so that's an important reason why they actually went with that model rather than like bringing in new maps or multiple modes and things like that they just change one thing at a time so if something breaks you know what changed and what's broken right 343 did state specifically there are no plans of bringing this new networking model to campaign co-op as apparently it's a completely different beast and i can understand that it's a totally different mode different requirements needed for it i haven't really played a whole lot of campaign co-op since it first came out to halo infinite so i'm not sure exactly what the networking is like with the co-op setting but just so we all know nothing's really planning to change right there next let's talk about the new content coming into halo infinite well new in a way legendary firefight i did bring this up in a previous video but they went into a little bit more detail this time around first they did say that yes you can play legendary firefight right now within halo infinite through the custom game experience now they did touch on a few things that they're looking to change when it comes to the legendary experience compared to heroic or normal one thing specifically they mentioned was equipment and how different it's going to be playing out with the legendary version where it's me acting much more like multiplayer where you have a 60 second respawn timer and also limited uses a design philosophy behind a legendary firefight sounds like a good challenge from the developer saying the goal is that most players won't win 
on legendary and the mode doesn't scale down so if you're trying to jump in and do a solo run into legendary firefight well the best of luck to you on that one though 343 did say to not expect halo 2 lasso level difficulty when it comes to legendary firefight they specifically mentioned that from the chat discussion that was in this discord call uh but definitely it's going to be a challenge for sure it will be coming to matchmaking very soon but they'll have more to share on that later but of course once we have that information I'll share with you guys here on the channel. On a little side note, when it comes to the matchmaking experience within Halo Infinite right now, there is a grand total of 70 maps. There is content to be played on here. And 343 specifically highlighted that there are 44 community made maps within matchmaking at the moment out of that grand total of 70. It just makes me so happy to see that the live service is actually alive and things are actually happening. The biggest issue with Halo Infinite wasn't the gameplay. Yeah, the networking could be better, but it's still functional. It was fun, kept me playing the game. The biggest issue has always been the content. When is the next thing happening? What's gonna be the cool thing that's gonna be making me wanna play Halo Infinite? It didn't really happen until about season four and not really maybe season three. But well, the next cool thing coming around guys is on Tuesday, Winter Contingency 3. I've covered here on the channel about the leaked battle pass that's coming with it and possibly snow maps being leaked out with it as well that we've covered here on the channel as well. Of course, once we get some more information on that operation, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. If you guys are new to this channel and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, well, make sure you subscribe. Check out this video right here if you're new to the content or missed anything from me recently. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.